existence. Truly positive economic metrics are the opposite of what was sought back then. Degrowth, so to speak, would be the goal. Doing more with less and needing less. People would go on TV to give an economic report and say something like, great metrics for the economy this month. We reduced our use of energy and raw materials by another 3%, lowering sales once again with less need for human employment, increasing overall efficiency by a factor of two. We continue to be in homeostatic balance with the planet for yet another year, and humanity has more free time than ever. Here's Tom with the weather. Well, it's clear skies across the hemispheres. The Amazon rainforest isn't on fire. We aren't clogging the atmosphere with CO2, and we haven't seen swarms of refugees cascading across continents in search of food for some time. And the fog of billionaire douchebaggery seems to have cleared a bit. We do expect some precipitation, adding to our already abundant fresh water supply, further improving topsoil. While global abundance measures has everyone sitting pretty for the foreseeable future. Yeah, you would never hear anything like that. Instead, the opposite. Some dickhead PhD Ivy League market economist religious fanatic who literally has no clue what the word economy even means would come on and say, quarterly earnings were down last month in most sectors as GDP slows. We're seeing an increase in unemployment due to the contraction, but hopefully the coming Christmas season will spark new consumer demand while it's anticipated that the central bank will lower interest rates and buy more bonds to increase liquidity to ease the credit crunch. Hopefully, this will improve consumer confidence, inspiring investors to reallocate capital into da 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 Translated, this means we need you people to take on more loans, go into more debt, to buy more things, to create more jobs, so we can sell more things and use more of the Earth's resources. If we're lucky, industry will improve on shortening good lifespans through planned obsolescence, make things impossible to repair. Hopefully more single-use goods will become the norm so people can buy and throw away at an ever-increasing rate, keeping this shit show going. 